Hello, I'm David Cox, pastor of Valley Lutheran Church in Las Lunas, New Mexico. In this Advent devotional, I would like you to consider with me the theme of prophets. I imagine there is some confusion about that term in our church and in greater society. Prophets and prophecy seem to be an old type of concept to us. In fact, many of us uh, see ourselves thinking solely about the prophets and the prophecy and voice of God in the Hebrew scriptures. Prophet seems quaint, limited. We think of the prophets as past visionaries, people who spoke to their historical times and to the people of faith with comments that also reached forward to the times of Jesus. But I think that there is more to prophets and prophecy. Prophets are gifted, you see, to the world. Gifted to speak a word of faithfulness. The gift of prophecy comes through the Holy Spirit. And anyone might be called to become a prophet. Amos talks about having been a herdsman and a tender and dresser of sycamore trees when he was called to go and speak to the people of Israel. Jeremiah, in his calling to be a prophet, complains that he's too young, that he's a youth, and worries that no one will listen to him. Isaiah, in his call story, responds to the need for someone being sent by God to speak to the faithful. And he says, here I am, send me. The Spirit of God compels prophets to speak. And they, in many ways, simply cannot hold the word in. But they find relief and, and a sense of importance by speaking the word that has been given. Now, the Holy Spirit compels us to become prophets. In my lifetime, I think of people like Desmond Tutu, Nadia Boltz Weber, uh, Dorothy Day, and many others. Sometimes such prophets grate our sense of safeness or seek us to look beyond the status quo to the vision of a greater community, a vision of the faithful. Speakers of insight, of tuition, and of the spirit, prophets are called to lead with words and actions. And in our good Lutheran theology, these people, well, they're just like us. Simultaneously sinners and saints, gifted through the grace of Christ. The word which comes through prophets calls our world to engage and love the neighbor. Stand with the voiceless and continually become communities of grace that are regenerated by God's power. Seeing and knowing the needs of others and propelled by the love of God. Prophets speak of our God, who is seen and known in the sacraments, and then carried into the world as we proclaim God's marvelous deeds of light. The church, you see, is still called to such prophetic tasks, such prophetic words. Joel reminds us, your sons and daughters will prophesy your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they will prophesy. Those days are not simply 2,000 years ago. They are in the now of God, the present among us. Paul encourages us in 1 Corinthians that all may prophesy, one by one, that all may learn and be comforted. As God's beloved people, we are called into a community to be such a place of insight and intuition as the faithful people of God. In an advent, these words come together in hope and grace and in the love, grace, and faith given through Jesus Christ, our great hope and joy. So I ask you, to pray about these things and think through them with me. Where might you see God today? 
And where might God's voice be needed? To whom shall we go as prophets of the dominion of God? And how are we called to be the prophets of love and mercy through Jesus Christ for others? Let us pray. O oh God, give us insight and intuition, grace and mercy, to be your prophets of mercy and love in the days that you have given us for life and living. Bless us with your spirit. Amen.